In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Good morning, everyone. And I welcome each and every one of you here this morning to St. Nicholas's Church as we offer up the holy sacrifice of this Mass for the soul of Geraldine Finnegan. As we gather here, we gather here to celebrate Geraldine's life as we hand her over and back to God. Here on the table we have a photograph of happier times at Kelly's wedding, uh, Geraldine and Kelly smiling wonderfully, and then her old faithful vapour always in her hand. We gather here today to say farewell to one of the town's own, you could almost say character. We gather here to say farewell to a lady who was taken before her time, very quickly at the end. We gather here today that our prayers will also become a source of strength and comfort to Geraldine's family, in particularly her daughter Kelly, her granddaughter Lola, her son-in-law Sean, her brothers and sisters Joe, Heather, Kay, Anne, Francis and Brendan, her brothers-in-law, sisters-in-law, to her family and friends. We gather here today that our prayers will become a source of strength and comfort to you as each of you come to terms with Geraldine's passing. As we gather here this morning around the altar, as we gather around Geraldine's body, let us acknowledge that we are all sinners in need of God's love and mercy as we pray. I confess to Almighty God, you and your brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. <coughs> Lord of mercy, Christ have mercy, Lord have mercy. And let us pray. O God, Almighty Father, our faith professes that your Son died and rose again. Mercifully grant that through this mystery, your servant Geraldine, who has fallen asleep in Christ, may rejoice and rise again through him. He lives and reigns with you in unity, the Holy Spirit, one God, for ever and ever. And now I invite you to please be seated as we listen to our first reading, our psalm that will be sung, and our second reading. A reading from the prophet Isaiah. Do not be afraid, for I have redeemed you. I have called you by your name. You are mine. Should you pass through the sea, I will be with you. Or through the rivers, they will not swallow you up. Should you walk through the fire, you will not be scorched, and the flames will not burn you. For I am the Lord, your God, the Holy One of Israel, your Saviour, the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
reading from the book of Timothy. I have fought the good fight, I have finished the race, I have kept the faith. Now there is in store for me the crown of righteousness, which the Lord, the righteous judge, will award to me on that day, and not only to me, but to all who have longed for his appearing. The word of the Lord. Gospel according to St. Matthew. Seeing the crowds, Jesus went up the hill. There he sat down and was joined by his disciples. Then he began to speak, and this is what he taught them. How happy are the poor in spirit! Theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Happy the gentle, they shall have the earth for their heritage. Happy those who mourn, they shall be comforted. Happy those who hunger and thirst for what is right, they shall be satisfied. Happy the merciful, they shall have mercy shown to them. Happy the pure in heart, they shall see God. Happy the peacemakers, they shall be called sons of God. Happy those who are persecuted in the cause of right, theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Happy are you when people abuse you and persecute you and speak all kinds against you on my account. Rejoice and be glad, for your reward will be great in heaven. The Gospel of the Lord. If you be seated for a few moments, please. Parents play an important role for all of us. They help form us into who we are. This is the same for all mothers who have been given a very special gift. Mothers are the closest people we get to. And today, Kelly, you will never again be as close to anyone as you were to your mother. You will never again be as dependent on anyone as you were to your mum. She, for many years, was literally your lifeline. Why? Because a mother's love is the most reliable love that we have. And yet it is still human and as such imperfect and limited. We all long for the love that is absolutely trustworthy. Only God can give us what we're looking for. Geraldine's love for you, Kelly, reminds us in many ways of God's love. It was a reflection of it. Geraldine 
was a people person. The face of Dunn Stores. Everybody knew her. Time to chat. Geraldine was the per person. What you seen is what you got. You always knew where you stood with Geraldine. She was a black and white type of person. Not in an arrogant way or bad way. Some people say that Geraldine was that long in Dunn's. She actually built the foundations of the new one in the marshes. But first and foremost was Kelly, and then the star of the show, Lola. Family meant everything to Geraldine. If there's one word to sum Geraldine up, it'd have to be balanced. Yes, Geraldine liked the crack and going and socialising, and she liked uh, to know where she was at and liked a bit of fun and all that there. But she also liked her own space. Like she would think of nothing and spending a whole evening or a couple of nights to herself. She'd like to recharge her batteries. She liked traveling. She did go out to Australia to Kelly many times, but she loved coming home. As the saying says, home is where the heart is. And she loved coming home to Dundalk, to the community, to her friends, her family, because that's where she was more content and happiest at, surveying her kingdom. She was a lady who, after retiring, picked up the rake and started in the garden, front and back. And that gives you a wee bit of insight into Jared Lee. She was connected, connected to the earth, connected to the very soil and ground, to the area in which she was brought up, connected to people. She had a massive devotion to Saint Anthony. And I would say, as we say for a while to Geraldine, He's at the door going, oh my God, she's here. Because she prayed for him for everything. He's probably in a rush to close the gates. So no. She had a very deep and strong devotion to St. Anthony. She prayed for him for the protection of Kelly, for the protection of family. If she lost something, or somebody was going through a bad time. She was the lady that used St. Anthony for everything. She was a strong character. She, she enjoyed life and embraced it. She never looked back. She sat at the situation, summed it up, and moved on. She was a lady who had many friends here in Dundalk and quite simply really because nobody felt threatened by her because she didn't feel threatened with herself. She was content in her own body of who and what she was and what she was about. She would never go out of her way to insult anyone and that is a beautiful gift and memory we should keep of Geraldine as we remember her in life and hand her back over to God in death. Her faith in her way made it very easy for her to reach out to the other person 
Simply put, she could see the face of Christ, face of love, compassion and forgiveness in the other person. So it was very easy for Geraldine to reach out. But when death knocks on anyone's door, it brings with us many questions. It brings with us a new way. It brings heartache. It brings devastation. When the mother of a home enters her new chapter of her life, in eternity. The foundations of a family is shaken. It is broken. It is destroyed. All of us, in some way, as we leave this life, will want to be remembered. Just as Christ himself was rem is remembered here at the altar at Mass every day. And we take comfort in the fact that Jesus himself wept when he too was confronted with the death of his dear friend Nazareth. We are not alone in our grief. There is someone else who understands only too well our situation. Geraldine's passing came very quick, quicker than the family thought. They thought that we've got more time with her. But we take comfort in the fact that a part of Geraldine lives on in Kelly. We take comfort in the fact that she that Geraldine has left her, her mark not only with her grieving family but on the town of Dundalk with her family and friends with her wee cheeky smile with her laughter her advice her wisdom, her counsel we also take comfort as Christians. We are not left in the comfort as we follow Jesus' answer. I know that Geraldine will rise on the last day. As Jesus says, for I am the way, the truth and the light. Geraldine's passing brings much gloom to a grieving family. But let us remember her life as a testimony. She must be admired for her, cause, her courage, her self-giving, which was seen in word, deed and action. Mary and Joseph presented Jesus in the temple. Today, we present to you, O Lord, Geraldine, where she will be welcomed into the warmth and faith of eternity. Geraldine, may you now rest in peace. Amen. And I'm in honor as in Vic, the Spirit and Death. Amen. I invite you now to please stand for our prayers of the faithful. My friends, since God has loved us so much, we too must love one another. No one has seen God, but as long as we love one another, God will live in us and his love will be complete in us. And we know that love is stronger than death. 
So let us pray to the God who first loved us. Geraldine lived Christ's commandment of love. May she now hear those words, O come, of blessed of my Father, inherit the kingdom prepared for you since the foundation of the world. Lord, hear us. Geraldine showed much love for others in this life. May she now experience the loving mercy of God. Lord, hear us. From her place in the kingdom of the Father, may she intercede for us and continue to help us. Lord, hear us. For those who nursed, nursed Geraldine in her illness, that all of them will be rewarded for their gentleness and care. Lord, hear us. For all who mourn today, that all of them will be receive strength to assist them in their sadness and grief. Lord, hear us. Amen. Heavenly Father, these were our prayers, spoken and unspoken, we make through your Son, O Lord Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you in unity the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. I invite you now to please be seated. My sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Be near, O Lord, we pray to your servant, Geraldine, on whose funeral day we offer you this sacrifice of consolation, so that should any stain of sin have clinged to her, or any human fault have affected her, it may, by your loving gift, be forgiven and wiped away, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For as one alone he accepted death, so that we might all escape from dying. As one man he chose to die, so that in the sight of all might live forever. And so in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you and with joy we proclaim. Holy.
are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, he entered willingly into his passion. He took bread, giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more, giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. This is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. the mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one with the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Eamon, our Archbishop, Michael, his assistant, and all the clergy. Remember your servant, Geraldine, whom you've called from this world to yourself. Grant that she who was united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who've fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face of mercy and as all we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we, my merit of powers to eternal life, may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours for ever and ever. And if we have a Eucharistic minister, if you please come forward. At the Saviour's command and form be divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may always be free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Peace of the Lord be with you always.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am the Holy Spirit. Only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
Mother, I will forget, forever count my lucky stars that you chose to be mine, that you chose to be the one bonded to me forever, to be the one I got to call my mother. My life was filled with love from the moment I was placed in your arms. Everything I am and everything I will be is because of you. Thank you to the one who has given me everything, to the one who loves me unconditionally, to the one who inspires me daily with her strength, patient and gentle heart, to the one who has shown me the way I am me because of you. Thank you to the one I love you. Thank you to the one I love like no other. Thank you for being my mother. Please stand. Lord God, whose son left us in the sacrament of his body, food for the journey, Mercifully grant that, strengthened by it, our sister Geraldine may come to the eternal table of Christ, who lives and reigns for ever and ever. Just before the final blessing, just please be assured, Kelly and Geraldine's brothers and sisters, Sean, is watching in from Australia, brother-in-laws and the family and friends. Each and every one of you are in our thoughts and prayers at this time. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you all, the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. This Mass is now ended. Go in peace to love and to serve our Lord.